So today we're going to talk about the moon board. The moon board is a standardized steep training board for training finger power and core strength as well as many other things. Here we can see the creator of the moon board, Ben Moon, climbing on the moon board. The holds are small and the roots are very short between three to five moves so it's perfect for training power. I think the coolest thing about the moon board is that because the board is standardized it means that someone can set a problem in a different part of the world and you can climb on your moon board because all the moon boards are the same. You can look up people's problems on the app on iOS or Android and using this you can also log your progress and see how many routes you've climbed. The moon board is something I've been using for the last six, seven months now and I think it's a great training tool so I'd like to talk about the three best things about the moon board and how it can help you in your training. So the first thing I think it can help you do is build power from your strength. So building finger power. And what I mean by building power from your strength, I think that if you don't have a good base of finger strength, you should go hang on a fingerboard for a while. Um, if you don't know how to do that, then you can check out, I, I go on the Reddit, climb harder quite often, and it's uh, pretty good. It's got some pretty good uh, information there on how to get stronger fingers. And once you've got that base strength of finger strength, then I think it's a great tool for really building that that strength into dynamic movement and power. All the boulder problems on the moon board are around three to five moves, and I think that's a really good way to convert your your strength into power. You can pick from thousands of routes on the application, and that allows you to you know pick boulders at your limit and do boulder problems that are short but really powerful, and that's a great way to, to build power generally. So the other thing I think it helps you to do is how to learn full body tension and how to use your body strength to keep your feet and hands on the wall. So what I mean by full body tension is basically how you use your body and your core strength and not just your core but your whole body that isn't your hands and your feet to make the most out of your feet and hands. So with the moon ball, because the hand holds are so small, you end up having to use your feet even more than you would on a problem where the handholds are much bigger because the handholds are much bigger and you can just either campus it or jump or not really have to think about keeping your feet on the wall. Like maybe it's a maybe it's a jump on the moonboard anyway, but you have to use your feet to get to the next hold because the handholds are so small you can't just use your hands to just pull up and use, you know, predominantly your upper body to get to the next hold. You have to use your feet in coordination with your hands. The last thing I think it helps you to do effectively is track your progress over the months and years. It's probably the closest thing you can have to outdoor bouldering indoors. And what I mean by that is that, you know, the rock isn't going anywhere. So you can keep projecting something very hard year after year after year and seeing how you can improve and unlock the moves. And you can do that also on the moon board because it's going to be the same board that's always there. and people from all over the world are creating roots in it. So something that you think is really hard today, you know, you could try it now and not be able to do any of the moves and in six months or a year after you've got stronger, you can go back to that problem and see if you can do one of the moves or two of the moves or even finish the problem. And in this way, it's really nice to see your progress and track your progress internationally because there are moon balls all over the world and people like, you know, Alex Magos or Daniel Woods are you know, creating problems on this board that everyone can share because they all set it to the same angle with the same holes. So yeah, that was a quick video on why the moon board is awesome and why you should possibly build one in your backyard today or go to your nearest gym that has a moon board. I think it's a really great effective training tool and yeah, I mean, apart from those three reasons, it's also a great use of technology with climbing and I think it's connecting a lot of other climbers around the world because someone like me that's in Taiwan can also climb with someone that's in America or the UK or in Germany because everyone's got the same board and we can connect over borders and something that we couldn't do before the moon board existed or something similar existed. So yeah, and I think that's pretty awesome. The more we can connect with other climbers, the better.